Welcome on down to another arcade tutorial, fellow Thousers and new players alike. What is going on, everybody? Hey, Russell just are here bringing you another meme tutorial. Today we're doing a joystick control. So games that use an eight-directional joystick plus one or more buttons, such as um, you know, such as Final Fight, for example. I'll go over uh, just making sure that memes recognizing your joystick inputs and then uh, actually doing the controls and some cool tips and tricks in regards to that and then some things to keep in mind. So let's get started. First you want to make sure that your joystick options are on, that is that joystick input is enabled in MAME. This should be on by default, but it's always good to double check just to make sure. And before you even do that, I just remembered, make sure whatever you're using is plugged in. A MAME is a type of program where if your preferred controller is not plugged in, it won't be read if you plug it in after starting MAME. So I've already got my uh, handy dandy Mayflash arcade stick plugged in, so we should be good to go. And if you want to check to see if your controller is being recognized, just move the joystick like this. You can see that I'm able to select with it, so we can see that MAME is actually reading it. For those using a controller with an analog and a D-pad, try both analog sticks and a D-pad to see if that, if that works. So. Now, how do we make sure that in the input is set to go? So go to general settings and you're going to come down to advanced options. And then you scroll down here and you see that joystick is on. Cool. And joystick in this case means um, it's talking about a what the computer recognizes as a joystick peripheral because like main flash fight sticks, game pads, D pads, Xbox controllers, PS3 controllers, Mad Cats controllers, your Nintendo 64 controller plugged in with a USB controller, port, whatever. Uh, those are all recognized by the computer as a joystick. So like if you're playing ye older games on like MS-DOS, it'd be like joystick input instead of like gamepad or whatever. Uh, and then if you're using the older version, right here I got MAME UI64 Classic, which I got from Progetto Snaps, really useful MAME resource site. I'll link that in the description down below. You can get this older look and feel to MAME if you're a dinosaur like me <laughs> and you, when you grew up around MAME, it looked like this. Hey, there's some people who grew up where you had to actually use a command prompt to run MAME, so maybe I'm not as much of a dinosaur as I think. So anyways, let's go down here to Options. You're going to go to System Default Options. Go to Controllers. And you can see it's already checked. I don't know if there's a way to actually uncheck that. And then if you're using an analog stick, uh, you can set the joystick de uh, dead zone and saturation as well. There's a way to do it with um, the newer builds of MAME as well, but I don't think it's that important since we're just using a uh, directional joystick that's not analog, that's digital. So Final Fight's joystick would be digital. Um, and then we're going to go here for properties for CPS1.CPP. Go to controllers and we can see that joystick input is good to go. All right, so let's get this game booted up, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, so here we are in Final Fight. And I'm going to push the P key on my keyboard. That will pause the game and let me set things up without a bunch of noise in the background. So now that we've got this paused, what you're going to do is push the Tab key. This will bring up the uh, menu here. And what you're going to do is go to Input Settings. Push enter on your keyboard. You can also use your controller if it's being read. So go to input settings, push enter, and then go input assi uh, assignments this system. You might also see input assignments general. We'll get to that later. On the Progetto Snaps builds, if you download them, it's a similar input settings menu. Um, so you're going to push the enter key. And you can see we've got all the, uh, we've got all the different configurations for this game that you can set up. So. All you gotta do is push the enter key and then push whatever button you want. So in this case, I'm gonna move my joystick up and B. And if you make a mistake, like let's say you end up with this somehow, some weird amalgamation, on your keyboard, there's the delete key, D, L. You know, it's near the enter key, it's to the left of end underneath the insert key. If you push delete, all that mess goes away. And if you want the default, uh, default button, push delete again, and there you go. So let's set this up real quick. So we're gonna go up, and then use the arrow key to go down, push enter, down, and of course if you want to go up, arrow key up. Left, right. And we're going to go button one, button two. I'm not sure what button three cheat is, so I'm going to skip that for now. And then let's go one player start. 
in coin one. In this case, I have a uh, joystick that's got eight buttons in two rows. So what I did was um, button one and two right next to each other, and then coin one is next to uh, button two, and then start next to button three. Uh, it's next to the start button because it's all you're really going to use for final fight. Now. If you've played Final Fight, you know that there is the uh, Desperation move, right? Where you push two buttons together and your guy does like his little spin maneuver or whatever. And we can see the controls work fine. See, I always, I always got that, that little thing there, right? The little Desperation move where you, where you get people off of you. Now, I really, really suck at getting the timing down for those. So what if you're like me and you, and you struggle to do that kind of stuff, right? Well, fret not, one. Don't worry, you're not a casual, that's fine. I believe in playing games how you like to play them, so how can we set this up? Push the tab key. And the nice thing about using the tab key to hide the menu and pull it back up is you'll be right back where you started. Or not right back where you started, but you'll be right where you left off. You don't have to go through all the menus all over again. So I'm gonna come up here to player one, button one. Here's what we're gonna do. You can actually set it so that a button on your controller can do more than one button, a macro as they call it. So let's do this. We're going to go A, and then what I'm going to do is tap the button right above it. So now on the bottom here, it says Joy 1 A or Joy 1 X. So if I tap that button that's right above it, we can see it says pressed. We're going to come down to P1 button 2, and just set up Joy 1 B, and then push that same button right above button 1. And now we can see that we've got them both on the same button here. So now I can easily get myself out of a jam. And then use of the pause key and the tab key is a good way of um, testing your controls. So if you want to try out different configurations, you're, you can do that as well. Maybe you want your buttons above each other, so punch uh, above, jump, or something like that. You want some of the different uh, configs, however you want. But what if you want to do something like set up both uh, keyboard and joystick? Let's say you have a joystick computer, a uh, joystick that's always plugged into your uh, system. And you've got your keyboard, and maybe you're you use your computer from the bed. Like I, I've got a little uh, keyboard that I use my computer with, so I can like watch YouTube while I go to sleep because I'm like an old person. Uh, here's what you're gonna do. So remember how we did that trick where we set multiple buttons up, um, multiple inputs up with different buttons. Let's do this. P1 up, and then let's go P1 W down S left. Hey, oh, uh oh, <laughs> but I think you can see where I'm going with this, right? You kind of just go through and you set those up again. Uh, just make sure you, you know, do your joystick input and then, or, or however, whatever order you want to do it in. You also have to redo this as well. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and just reset those. Now you may have noticed if we, uh, come back here, there's input assignments general. So the way this works is it is for, um, when you can get the user interface. So if you want to configure your back, forward, select all that buttons in the uh, user interface, the menus, basically, you can do that here. Uh, if you want to go back, you can go push the escape key. Player one, and you can do it uh, by each player's controls. So if you come in here, right, I can actually set this up like, like this. Draw and D-pad up down, left, right. So that means that whenever I load up another system, another game, it will default to having joy, uh, my joystick up, down, left, right. I don't have to go in and do that again. Same thing with the buttons down here. I can set that up to where now whenever I load up a game, it will default to these if I have never played that game before, which can save you some time because uh, with MAME, you have to set your inputs up for each individual system or each individual game. So keep that in mind. With the defaults, you do that. Now, be wary. If you start MAME and there's no joystick plugged in, it'll I think it just goes back to whatever the defaults are. It'll either go with none or it'll just use your keyboard defaults. So keep that in mind. That's why I like to just keep the... Um, Oh, see, now it's defaulting to using the uh, joystick I have plugged in, but it's always good to just have that in, just in case. Anyways, <laughs> I'm getting distracted here. But MAME on default, you, you might want to uh, take a look around here, though, because the defaults for MAME, 
uh, if like you're just using it for the first time, is using your arrow keys as movement and then like your shift, control, alt, and space keys. It's kind of weird, but it's a holdover from the oldie days. So that's why you see I have the defaults as WASD and I think I use JKL and all that for... Um, I'll, I'll fix that later. Neither here nor there. So there you go. That's the basics. So, and that's a cool thing too. Yeah, you can set your controls up differently. Like what I tend to do with my uh, joystick, like I said, it's uh, eight buttons in two different rows. So if you've ever seen a Neo Geo, uh, a Neo Geo MVS system, you notice their buttons are a bit different. Like what I mean is for Neo Geos, the way their buttons were done is it was four buttons in a row, but it, like. The first button and the second button were kind of at a weird angle, but it worked good because you can uh, rest all four of your fingers, uh, uh, aside from your thumb, you can rest your four other fingers on the buttons and use them easily. But let's say you're playing something like SVC Chaos and you don't really dig, or um, what was that one? King of Fighters, where it's like A is punch, light punch, B is like light kick, and then you have the heavy kick and the hard and the, or hard punch and heavy kick or whatever it is in that order. Maybe you want to set it up to where it's uh, two rows instead, kind of more like, um, you know, like Tree Fighter or something like that. Which is what I like about MAME, is that there's so much custom ability you can do, all the different macros you can set up, like Marvel vs. Capcom 1, you have to push, like, if you're using easy mode, you have to push, like, all three of your punch or kick buttons to do your super, so you can use a macro to make that a lot easier for you. So I did mention things about things to keep in mind. So, like I said, make sure your controller is plugged in before you boot up MAME, otherwise it won't read it, but keep this in mind too. Notice how it said Joy 1. It's all possible to plug in a controller and have that be Joy 2, even if you've already got, like, even if you don't have anything plugged in. So I had a situation uh, the other month where I was using my phone to connect to my laptop via Bluetooth to work as a um, long range wireless keyboard or mouse. I was at my buddy's place and I left my keyboard and mouse at home. So it was a makeshift solution. I left the con I left the uh, phone connected to the computer and when I tried to go on the main, it kept saying that my joystick was Joy 2, which means that my defaults weren't working because it was now reading my joystick as Joy 2. So I had to disconnect that and not connect it again. Uh, and then everything was fine and dandy. So keep that in mind. Uh, the order that it's determined, from what I can tell, it's usually the order that things are plugged into your system. So even if you plug in your joystick, and then you have your Xbox controller plugged in, and then let's say later you unplug your Xbox joystick, but you're still using your uh, Xbox um, Series X controller, and you're kind of in the same session relatively, uh, then it'll read it as Joy 2. I think there's been times where, like, I'll even, it'll even still read it as Joy 2. There's just weird interactions that will happen sometimes where controllers will be read as different joysticks because emulation is weird. And uh, same thing with controllers. Uh, I've heard stories of some controllers that will work with whatever emulator, then you go use it in MAME and it doesn't work. I've had people have trouble connecting even their PS3 or their, even their Microsoft things. This is one of those situations where you you're gonna have to play detective and figure it out. And I'm not saying that to be rude. There are a lot of situations for myself where I have to like sit here and figure out what's going on. Like the story about the the Bluetooth phone utility. I had to figure that out and get that fixed <laughs> so it can be working properly again. Um, so just keep that in mind. And the cool thing too about having the uh, Joy 1 is, remember I said what order things are plugged in. So let's say I wanna play with my Xbox controller, I don't feel like having my joystick, let's say I'm on a Discord chat and I just don't want to bother them with a bunch of tap 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 of my uh, of my main stick. So what I can do is unplug the main flash, then connect the Xbox Series X controller to my computer via Bluetooth or via USB, and um, start up MAME, and now that will be seen as Joy 1 with all the inputs that go with it. Now of course, I have to do some testing and figure out what's, you know, button A, B, whatever, and and go from there. But it's an easy way of kind of, nice little trick there if you switch between different controller types at times. And I believe that about does it. Yeah, that about does it, the basics. And if you are running into a problem, 
that I haven't covered in here, uh, leave a comment in the description, in the description, in the comments down below. That's not me fishing for likes. I actually do want to see if one, I could look something up and maybe offer some solutions to you, or maybe someone else that's watching this had a similar issue to you and can help you out. You know, I want to try to see if we can make a community of uh, emulation fellows that can help each other out with things, because MAME is tricky to figure out. Hence why I'm making all these tutorials for this emulator, not something like SNES 9X. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for putting up all the my sense, fellow dowsers and new players alike. If you want to help support the channel, of course, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We also have got a Patreon that we're trying to get back up and running. I'm going to think of some cool rewards for you guys. Uh, if you want to do a one-time donation, we've got Kofi, and we've got our affiliate with TubeBuddy, which if you download, install, and purchase a TubeBuddy subscription plan, that's affiliate link, so we do get compensated for that at no cost to you and we may have some merchandise coming up it just depends on how long it takes Etsy to link up to my bank and we can go from there but other than that thank you very much for watching and I want you all to remember no matter what anybody says or what you're going through you are a beautiful star take care everybody and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.